بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته uh, Given the current uh, COVID situation I, I recently find out that uh, Lab Vault Simulator is available online It's available free online So students can download it, instructors can download it And can be used especially in 1130 and 1131 laboratories so let us get started and show you how to download and uh, run it. So if you go to um, Google and you type Lab Vault Simulator, you can go to Lab Vault website here. And from Lab Vault website, you go to download here. And download, you see here LVSIM, Lab Vault Simulator. You click on it. It will ask you to download, save, and then you go to the installation procedures very simply. After that, I already installed it. You, after installation complete, you just type LVVL and you run it. It's very straightforward and we will end up with this um, blank uh, page here so let us start what do we have here uh, the good thing we have the mobile workstation if you look if you click on it you will get the mobile workstation you zoom in from here you can uh, move and zoom everything then what do we have we have the data acquisition interface we can plug put it here we have the uh, prime mover dynamometer. We have the power supply. We bought it here. We have a resistive load. We have inductive load. We have capacitive load. We have induction motors, universal motor, DC motors, many things here. And the, the, the amazing thing that the instruments here, you can see we have a oscilloscope. So you, we placed the oscilloscope here. And also we have uh metering so we plug our meter here now let us um connect a very simple rl circuit so the first thing we do we plug the 12 volt uh, 24 volt supply to the data acquisition here then we will take the first voltage variable voltage here we take it to the to the measurement port of the data acquisition then there's the first resistor from this resistor to the another inductor and from the inductor to the neutral now we have a very simple circuit we will measure the voltage from here uh, we will measure the voltage across the supply now we can see that we have voltage measurement current measurement and we run the oscilloscope here in the oscilloscope we have the channel here, I see the voltage, and the other channel is the I1 for the current. The voltage, let us say, we have 50 volt, and the current is, okay, 0.1 amp. Now, we run the resistors here. If we zoom in, we can see that we have a value of the resistor is uh, 1,200 ohms, let us put this one on. And in here we have three Henry. Let us put 0.8 Henry. Now we will run the circuit. It's moving very quick. We will run the circuit here. We will run the DC uh, source 24 volt for the data acquisition. And we will run the three phase supply here. And we can adjust the voltage either by here, minimum, maximum, or just put the full load voltage in here and you can see the indicator here is moving now we have the voltage the current and let's put none here we don't want any other channels so we have the current the voltages in here and you can change uh, the value of the resistor combination here you can add resistors you see here the current is changing you can change the inductors as well you see here 
changing the value of the inductors. We see, we see the phase shift, how it, it changed here. Uh, also, we can measure the three phase voltages. We can measure three phase currents. We can do many things in here. We can enable here also the current measurement. And we can see uh, how the current change in the circuit. I hope that I managed to introduce this um, software to you. And good luck in your teaching. Thank you very much.